Those things don't bug me at all. That doesn't bug you? Not at all. And really? I, I've gotten fights on the internet about it. Where am I supposed to curl then? The curl rack? There's no such thing. If no one's squatting, I think you use a rack for whatever the hell you want. And like, it, you know, where they'll do every single play and then throw like chicks on it and then like, oh, you don't more like chicks, weights, huh? more weights on top of it that are not, that are unhinged. Oh, so yeah. you're throwing shots we at Tom Callis, huh? I'm not friend. throwing shots at anybody. Damn, Tom Callis. That's it. Yeah, yeah. girls backwards on the hip machine. I, I have yeah, that one. Yeah, I like call if, it the yes, no machine. Yeah, the yes, yes, no machine. No, exactly. Yes, That's no. called the good girl, bad girl. That one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Topic Thunder. I'm Wait. your host, Silent Mike, and this is Daniel Storni Cloud, and the crying cloud that's... Crying? Isn't that where it came from? That's where you said it came from. Oh, yeah. And then you blamed it on your brother, and then I was with your brother, and he said that's not the truth. That was what I was told. Yeah, but you're the crybaby. No. What? I don't know. No, Ladies no, no, and no, gentlemen, no, no. Kevlar... <laughs> Kevlar <laughs> Kai, the arm, the FPS god. Mm-hmm. New haircut, too. Mm -hmm. New haircut. Let him know. Give it to him, dude. Wave that thing. Flip my hair back and forth. I, I flip, flip my hair back and forth. And the legend, Jim McD through SP.co. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. Like it. Comment below if you have any topics or anything you want us to cover coming up. We went over gimmicks and scams. Shitty pieces of crap like the shake weight and things in the world. But I'd like to go over what's like a, an exercise that you deem useless or you just absolutely hate or a piece of equipment that's a real piece of equipment that absolutely sucks. And I, mine's kind of in between what I got. I can start it out if you guys need You start it out. So what I hate is when dudes don't understand how gravity works and they're trying to, and this is like the most common bro thing ever, is they start to try to like warm up the rotator cuff before they do hit some bench, which you probably don't even really need to do, but beside the point. It's and, not a muscle either. Yeah, and well, and they'll, grab, they'll, grab, they'll grab weights and they'll, they'll just be flopping them around in directions that like gravity ain't working. Yeah. Where if you want resistance to actually warm up your shoulder, you would use a cable or a band to do external rotation and internal rotation. But they're doing both those things with gravity that's going downwards and mostly working their front oh, delt with, and their with, bicep. With having a, a, a five-pound plate in their hands. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or some dudes will try to like overload it. They'll start grabbing I, a quarter and just be smashed. Yeah, okay, yeah. so this one, sure. you're working against gravity. You're, right, so I'm, 100%. I'm, 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 I'm rotating But even my, still, you'd probably be better off with a band or, or a cable because of the, once you get to a certain degree... Well, the accommodation the, the yeah. accommodation makes a lot yeah. more sense using yeah. a band. But they're just sure. shaking these things around, basically lightly warming up their bicep, doing yeah. nothing. Yeah. I I mean, this isn't... And that's a, Dan, actually. That's shots yeah. at Dan. Is it? Yeah, you've done it, dude. It's no, a football should, thing. I Everybody should, does it. Well, you said... For me, it was because I had two shoulder surgeries. I know, but you didn't hear this point of my story then. <laughs> I didn't say I, warming up your shoulder is a bad idea. That's not what my point of my story yeah. was. Well, for me... I would, uh, I think one of my biggest pet peeves seeing people do, obviously, is the infamous using a squat rack to literally do anything See, unrelated I've, to. Those things don't bug me at all. That doesn't bug you? Not at all. Really? And I, I've gotten fights on the internet about it. Like, where am I supposed to curl then? The curl rack? There's no such thing. If no one's squatting, I think you use a rack for whatever the hell you want. And we then have, we have enough racks that people can 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 curl it. Yeah, but, but like at a location of where there's like one rack. And, and, and if someone's squatting there, don't kick them out to do biceps. But if no one's using it, go fucking curl in there. I'm paying the same membership you are. But you can and, shoulder press there, but you can't curl. Is that right? What you're see, you can do anything in there. That's the point of a squat rack. And then if you're in a gym with only one squat rack, get the hell out of that gym. Yeah, it's a bad gym. Yeah, bad gym. Shit gym. Bad gym. Shit gym. I love curling in there. Triceps, bench, I don't give a fuck. Don't. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say anything typically. Uh, I, I wouldn't say exercise related, but I would say like there's gym pet peeves that like. Yeah. That 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 I definitely have. That's, I remember. That's low on my totem pole of uh, unspoken rules. Yeah. 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 I think it became like an internet meme. Yeah. More than it's a real thing. How often do you actually see that? I would say another one that I used to get yelled at for. I know this is a. a I would get yelled at for not assisting either unrack or rack weights. Yeah, that's a pet peeve that belongs. Yes, that's yeah. high on the totem pole. No, just yeah, yeah. Well, when I was younger, I was just like I didn't. But then I got yelled at enough times, so we're like now it's a religious. It's like in my brain. Now. Yeah, Kyle told me you're a big me guy. <laughs> yeah, I guy. Was I? Oh, yeah. my guy. Me guy. I, I didn't it's say I that. guy. That's I didn't say that, but I love you, dude. I would never say that. Mm -hmm. But I think number one, it's it's not only bullshit. But everybody does it in the in the uh, sports world, not just 
I mean, the lifting world, they kind of do because they watch sport people do it. Yeah. Is the uneven, balanced surface shit. The BOSU oh, yeah. balls, the foam oh, shit were yeah. like, yeah, I'm going to be on this foam thing that's kind of like uneven. Sur- like, where are you, bro? Are you on Mars? Yeah. Like, you're, no, you're we're on Earth. Like, you have a flat surface wherever you When you're playing baseball, you're not playing on fucking hills, dude. You're, yeah. like, you're, you're, you're playing on dirt. Well, because all I mean? these pussies watching the show got mad when I ripped on chiropractors because I'm making an entertainment show and they're like, you just talked to 160,000 subscribers with false information. Well, that's because I was doing education, or sorry, not doing education, but if you want education here, you dumb bitches, which I've done for 12 years, the best way to get more stable in any plane is to become stronger in that plane, not to train on an unstable surface. Yeah. However, if you're rehabbing an ankle injury, there's some applications in rehab, sure. For sure. But we can find an but application. This is in direct correlation to like strength. We can yeah, find right. an application for anything if right. we're going. Well, if it's we're an we're ankle, like one person. They could grab your ankle like this and go, all right, fight against my ankle. No, what yeah. I'm saying, they do. do that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, no, there, there is some like application for Bosu balls for sure, but there's an application. There's a tool for every need and there's a need I'm, for every I'm tool. talking like the broad scope, yeah. Kyle's one yeah. billion percent like the, right. Just get stronger, you idiots. Because I had to use it every day and I was like, bro, this sucks. Like, why am I? doing this like just stupid ass exercises on it i'm like I'm gonna, someone's gonna fall and then when they flip the ball over and you're on the flat part but then the ball's underneath it's mm. like dude happened here it was a big deal uh 2001 ish or something francisco garcia is a starting shooting guard for the kings was doing not even that heavy like 40 pound dumbbell bench press on one of those yoga balls ball exploded bro, oh broke his gosh. shooting wrist oh. Oh. starter in the nba yeah. Why would yeah. they? Yeah, what's the point? It's a really. I don't understand idea. the ball thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like okay. Yeah. I guess they don't understand it either. Well. Yeah. This was going to be controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. We do not have a reverse hyper in this building. I'm with you. Hit because, it. Because, uh, most people don't use them, and the and 50 percent of the people who do use them do not use them correctly. Mm-hmm. They load too much weight on on them, and they rely on momentum to keep the pendulum swinging, as opposed to actually activating their their posterior chain i mean they're great like i would use one if we had one but i wouldn't want to dedicate the money or the floor space to one because most people are not going to use it right i i mean absolutely it's helped my lower back at different times to use one but i don't think that they're the most critical thing in the world yeah and they take up a lot of space and they're always covered with people's fucking protein yeah. shake shit or their yeah, pre-workout yeah. shit or whatever and they're and they've got shaker cups on them all the time and they're you know just yeah as a, a strength mess. as a strength coach i think they're highly overrated they definitely have some tools and some uses for them but there's a million ways you can change your posterior um it's definitely like a luxury piece yeah uh and then two as an business owner i think it's way overrated because it's taken up not only the square foot of how big the machine is how expensive like you said but then you have to leave enough room that you can kick six feet behind that's what i say you gotta swing your legs out now too and then loading it's a bitch unloading it's a bitch like it's not a very convenient piece i have one that might be a little controversial hit it dude let them rip what do we feel about the leg press (laughs) dan hates the leg press i think i like leg press uh, okay hear me out (laughs) We see constantly these videos of gym bros throwing every 45 pound plate in the gym and a whole cheerleader squad. And yeah, a ego whole, tip in. It, it's, it's like, I'm going to put 2,000 yeah. pounds of leg press on there. Yeah. That's my issue, is in, especially in commercial gyms. Uh, where you see these individuals, literally, I'm I'm every 45 pound plate in the gym, and we'll do a leg press. I'll, I'll yeah. back you up if we agree. I don't like when you uh, publicly quantify a lift that isn't a standardized lift. Correct. So like a leg press, Correct. you can't say Agreed. you got a 2,000 pound leg yeah, exactly. press because each leg press yeah. levers are different. Yeah. yeah. It's like on this life fitness one, you might be able to do 2,000, but on this rogue one, you'll be, you'll be able to do yeah, 200. Change, well, yeah. it, change the degrees, like 10 degrees, it's going to change how, the Or how greasy it is. Yeah, like yeah, there's yeah. a million factors I mean, I, that go I, I Same with say, the cable. Cables, there's a million different pulley setups and you can kind of start to quantify if you know the pulleys and you want to get in all these like yeah. physics and shit, but don't have your own personal PR if you're using the same <laughs> machine so you yes. can add reps add weight and progressively overload but if you're putting it on the instagram that you got a two thousand pound leg press yeah, bend it's over ridiculous. and fuck yourself yeah literally yeah that's my number one thing yeah, it's like and especially posting something like that too is just like ridiculous yeah but the leg press in general is a fine tool i think and uh, the, those uh gym fail videos squad. that you see people's yeah. knees oh my God. failing yeah. oh, and, oh, yeah. where they flatten they, they stick oh, their legs yeah. out like God. this completely but that 
That person's oh. got more issues than that leg press. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah, you no, should no, be no, able no. to they're... stand there with that weight and your knee not collapse backwards. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is yeah, this <laughs> exactly. Is, yeah, you should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. is strictly content creators, but like you know where they'll do every single plate and throw like chicks on it, and then like oh you don't more like weights, chicks, huh? more weights on top of it that are not that are unhinged. Oh, so yeah. you're throwing shots we at Tom Callis? Huh, I'm not friend. throwing shots at anybody. Damn, Tom Callis, dude, Dan's coming for you, bro. <laughs> did that name even relevant? You didn't have to say it. We heard it. He just got you, Tommy. I see, I see. But I, I think a, a very underrated machine next to the leg press. I like a hack squat a lot. No, all those are. Great. I love yeah. the hack squat. The, the only that's issue the is one like, where it's connected. It's like to on your shoulders, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're kind of in a stable like position. I used to do that at the YMCA. I do like that. One. I like that one. The a only lot. negative yeah. of all those as a business owner is that they have one function. They carry a yeah. big footprint where like a squat rack, like I said, joking, but not like you can literally do everything in a, yeah. in a There's squat that rack. do it here. Or yeah. belt, belt squat. Bell squat's great. Even a bell squat does, it, it popped in my head. Like the footprint's fucking huge, but you can do more than just squat on right. it. Where a leg press, sure, some IFBB yeah. dudes doing shoulder press on it, but you ain't yeah, really yeah. doing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nobody's you know, yeah. going yeah. to that kind of trouble. Yeah. That's like, it's crazy. Wasting it all. But yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. I can't really think of other like machines in general. I mean, uh, let's think about like bodybuilding. A lot of bodybuilding yeah, machines yeah. that are pretty useless. Well, people just, Depends. what I don't like a pet peeve of mine is when you think that you your muscle is so like intelligent on its own and you're taking a machine and want. doing the machine incorrectly thinking that you're going to activate something more correctly. Oh, yeah. they're doing it like sideways and sitting. Yeah, just all this like shit. This. I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah, like yeah. your muscle doesn't know what you're doing. Like yeah, it knows yeah. stimulus or not. It knows range of motion or not. And that's it. Yeah, yeah. girls backwards on the hip machine i i have yeah, that one yeah, is, like i call if, it the yes no machine yeah, the yes, yes no machine no, exactly yes, that's called no. the good girl bad girl that one i think is the most useless machine i love on that machine. no they're fine why do you love it because oh, of my hips <laughs> they're fine <laughs> they're fine Please they're fine just don't use hips. it don't they're use fine. it backwards and, and they're fine and i i, I, yes. I part of the thing that we're getting to here is that like these are assistance moves yeah, yeah. This is not a max effort thing. And none of these things are a max effort. Well, that's thing. The, the bigger issue or the bigger topic is that people only will go in the gym and only do that. Yeah. Would like you ever program uh, bodybuilding machines and like reps and sets and for like sure. RPE and shit? RPE more, more particularly. Oh, yeah. really? 100%. Oh, okay. 100%. Yeah, because a uh, big thing on hypertrophy, you guys want to get educated because you guys are being dicks. Biggest thing on hypertrophy and bodybuilding is like how close you get to failure and that stimulus matters most and then volume and then progressing over time. So if we take a leg press, I would say like choose a weight and get to an RPE 9 mm -hmm. then or RPE 8 and then next week add a little bit, a bit of weight and also get to an RPE 9 or keep that same weight and get more reps next week and then you just progress that way. Leg I, press, bicep think, curl, whatever. Okay. I, I, I think the title of this one should be why chiropractors suck even more than I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> suck at comments. Title. Yeah. And why God. they're even worse. Yeah, dude, that'd be funny.